Hi, I'm Ian and I'm the Lonely Chef. And we have a fabulously funny show for you in the next half an hour. At the end of the show, there's a number and I want you to jot it down and, and call me because, well, I'm single and I'm looking for a date and possibly a relationship and who knows, maybe even marriage. I'm looking to meet somebody special. I'm fabulously wealthy. I want to settle down and I want to share this wealth with that special person and just live happily ever after. So enjoy the show and hopefully we'll meet. Until we do, goodbye. Oh, uh, one more thing. <laughs> I do happen to lie an awful lot. <laughs> Lonely, I've been searching for so long. Lonely, only hoping you're the one who will change my life and make these dreams come true. to tell you about this date that I've found. It's difficult when, you know, you're, and I'm trying to be serious now, <laughs> uh, but it's difficult when you meet somebody that's actually a plastic surgeon, because this particular lady looks for perfection in everything that she does, and I'm sure a lot of people come to her and, uh, you know, they want their noses changed or other parts uh, that want to be changed. Well, I've been trying to think <laughs> I've been trying to think what part I need changed. <laughs> well, I've had a lot of suggestions, but, um, you know, it's really difficult when, you know, you're pretty much as perfect as I am. Um, <laughs> so, uh, anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook up something a little bit special uh, for this young lady. And um, I'm also going to show you how to do home plastic surgery. I'm going to actually do plastic surgery on my nose. So we'll be right back in just a few minutes. And uh, don't miss it because it's going to be one heck of a show. Be back in just a second. I told you that I've got this special lady coming who's a plastic surgeon. And I also promised you that I was going to show you how you, the viewer, can do home plastic surgery. Now, the most obvious part for people that is changed by plastic surgery is not what most people think. It's not the chest or other parts, but it's the nose <laughs> and tucks. Now, my nose, as you can see, is pretty classic. So, what I'm going to do is going to take that classic nose and I'm going to change it with something that I've invented. Now, we call this nose in a bottle. And this particular stuff allows you, if you're going out on a particular date, to pick your own nose. Now, <laughs> the nice thing about this is that you can go Grecian, you can go Italian, you can go uh, sort of pugilist, you know, like a boxer that's been through a few rounds. You can do that kind of thing. But what I want to do is have sort of an astronaut nose. You know, I want that kind of nose that has the flair, the, the signature that says, I'm a strong, 
powerful person. So it's very easy. This is really good stuff, and you can actually buy this. It's called Nose, uh, Nose in the Bottle, and you can actually buy this from uh, this show. So it's not a commercial or anything like that. I just wanted to tell you about it. It's safe for kids, so kids will have a blast with this. It's also reusable. So if you're not happy with your nose, just put it back in the bottle and pick another one. It's easy. <laughs> so the only way that you apply this, is very simple, is you just tilt your head like this, and you just squeeze and let it drip down, and it'll form a base, see? OK. Now you can see that that's starting to give me that classic line that I'm looking for, like the astronaut knows. See how that's setting up? Isn't that nice? Isn't that delightful? So I keep applying this all the time during the show, and by the time she gets here, I will have this absolutely classically beautiful astronaut nose. Let me just lay another level down here. <laughs> Now, isn't that nice? Doesn't that grab you? Doesn't that say something? Doesn't that say something? Now, there's a touch of red in here because before this astronaut knows, what I wanted was a sort of an Irish beer drinker's nose. Um, I'm going to be very romantic with this girl. I can tell you that. It actually tastes pretty good, too. Ah, I've got a sort of a runny nose here, but what the heck. Anyway, we'll let that set up before we put another layer on. And what I'm actually going to do this time is to show you, and it's quite serious, all of you little chefettes out there and all you little lonely chefs out there, this is something that you can both do. Um, but not too many people know how to cook crab. Uh, I used to do a lot of these. And uh, I've got a couple of crab here, and I'm going to go through the steps, and I'm going to show you how to clean it. And uh, it's going to be very interesting. Um, now, one thing that I wanted to show you and I want to show these before and after pictures. This stuff really does work. Um, can we show the viewers at home what I normally look like as a... <laughs> now, as, as, a, as a dancer, that I, I do this on the weekends as a dancer in various clubs. Now, this stuff is so good, I took about 10 gallons of this stuff, and I went down to Hawaii, and I spent a weekend and this is what you can do. This is what I look like after this uh, 48 hours. <laughs> now, isn't that absolutely amazing? Well, let's get these crab, OK? These are the guys here. Now, they're very simple to prepare. Basically, all you have to do is put them into hot boiling water. But the trick of preparing these things is actually in the uh, preparation and the presentation of these uh, uh, crabs. And they taste absolutely delicious. Let me just put one more layer of... <laughs> now, you can see there's probably a lot of envious people out there right now looking at this nose <laughs> and thinking, why can't I have a nose like that? <laughs> well, you can. You can. You can just order this. It's great stuff. Look at me. <laughs> all right, we're going to put these crab into the pot. All right. Now, they take about 20 minutes to boil, so I'm just going to put them in here and uh, put them down there, and we'll just leave those to cook. Now, what we're going to do is to prepare the sauce for this thing while these things are cooking. And basically, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is put together some nice uh, garlic butter, and you just dip this crab in. It's just absolutely delicious. So we'll start that up. We'll get the, uh, the oven uh, burning here, and uh, we'll get our butter. Now, for this, you need a lot of butter. This is really a rich type of meal, but it's worthwhile doing because it's just, well, it's just lots of fun. It's a very romantic dinner. We'll get that going, and that'll, that'll melt down a touch. I have to turn this down just a touch, and we'll just let that melt. Now, I have to prepare my garlic. Now, this is a lot of fun. And I don't know about you, but I like a lot of garlic. I like the smell of garlic as it sizzles in the butter, a glass of wine. It sort of prepares me for the, the mood of things. Now, there's a way of doing this garlic. Uh, a lot of people just uh, skin these things and, and stuff. What I do is I just usually get my, my big knife here and give it a whack and throw it in the pot. And you'll start to have this delicious smell. And you just have all this juice 
I'm putting four big clothes in there. Just pick off the, uh, the skin, slide it out. I don't particularly like those uh, garlic graters. Uh, lots of cleanup. Look at that. Just comes out perfectly. Isn't that nice? So, whoops. Whoa! Getting excited there. I think I should put another layer on my nose, don't you? How's it looking? Pretty good? Oh. That's setting up really nicely now. Yeah, that's romantic, all right. How's that? All right. I see, when she comes in here and she looks at me, we're going to have something to talk about because I'm not perfect anymore. I'm different. I've got character to my face, and she's going to suggest, well, why don't you change your nose? All I do is rip it off and say, how's that? See? Ooh, can you smell that? Can you smell that? That's absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Now, what we're going to do is actually put this uh, sauce into a little bowl, and we'll be serving this up uh, in just a few seconds. But I do want to show you how to clean these crab, and we'll come back in just a second after they're cooked here, and we'll uh, take them all to bits and show you how to serve these up. And while you're doing whatever it is you do during these commercials, I'll just put on a couple more layers of nose. So we'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. Now this is actually some serious cooking tips for you guys out there, you guys and girls. Uh, that, and I tell you, this is really a very, very simple meal. It takes 20 minutes, uh, but you need to know how to do this properly and present it. Otherwise, it can be a little sort of messy. But uh, to cook a crab, that's all you do. You just put it into uh, some salted boiling water for about uh, 20 minutes. Um, now to clean it, I'd like you to watch this carefully. I'm going to do actually all three of these, and uh, uh, I have one that's already pre-cooked here, which I'm doing. These two are boiling here. But the first step that you do is you go to the back of the crab here. You can see this line here. You put your thumbs underneath there and just pull out from the crab. Now, it looks kind of messy, but uh, <laughs> it looks kind of messy, but it's worthwhile. Now, on the side of the crab, you have the gills. These are the gills here. These all need to come off, and you just scoop those off like so. Now, in Europe, uh, a lot of people eat this stuff. They call it the, the crab soup, and it's uh, a, quite a delicacy. Uh, I'm not that partial to it, so I'm not going to eat it. But uh, what you also do is you just put your thumb in here and just pull all the way down like so, and just clean that stuff out of there. It's very simple. Now on the other side, you have the gills too. And you just take those off, like so. Now, this piece here is the tail of the crab. What you do is you just put your thumb here, pull this off, like so. And then at the front end, just pull this down here, like so. And then the crab is ready to be washed out. Uh, but before you do that, you also have the top part, and this is part of the presentation. You take this piece here, just lift it out, pull it out, just clean that out, and then you take it over to the sink and you wash it. And just run the water through it, like so. And you bring, bring your crab back, and it's ready for presentation onto the, uh, the plate. But before we get to the plate presentation, what I'd like to do is just move this out of here and show you how to actually eat these things. Because, uh, you know, you have a nice presentation on the table, but if you don't know what to do with it or where to start cracking stuff, it's a little difficult. So uh, it will be served on the plate, usually with a little cup of uh, garlic butter that you can dip the meat in and so on. But uh, when you start, it's pretty easy. 
This is where the main meat is in the, in the front claws. You just break these off, just very simple, very easy. This is just 20 minutes of uh, cooking. Now, these all come apart too, so you can just break that off, break that off. Uh, well, sometimes they're a little difficult, but uh, this claw here, you can also pull out like so, like so. Then if you have a, a pair of nutcrackers or a knife, I prefer to use a knife and just give it a whack at a slight angle. Uh, usually if I have my little fork here, you can just pull this out. Ooh, look at that nice piece of crab. Now I'm just going to steal a little piece here and go over to my garlic butter, which is, which is cooking here. I'm just going to dip this in here and taste this. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, what a sight. I mean, what a taste. <laughs> Got a little bit of my nose in there. It's great, <laughs> great stuff. Anyway, <laughs> next step, after the claws, the front claws, you can take all of the claws off here, and you work your way through these with your nutcrackers and so on. And um, there's quite a bit of meat in here. Then you're left at the end of, uh, almost the end of the meal, you're left with this uh, main body part. Now this too is very easy to break, and this is a lot of fun, it's very romantic, I, I recommend it to anybody. And if anybody ever comes on this show and we get together, and it's quite possible that we may have a relationship here one of these days, uh, I would love to cook this for my date. Uh, you just break it in half, like so, and then you have access to all of this meat here and you can just pull it out with the fork, put it into the garlic butter, and it's just absolutely delicious. So, uh, I'm going to clean the other uh, crabs, and uh, I'll go over that once more with you. Uh, now, just watch uh, very closely. Uh, once you've seen this a couple of times, you should have no problem in preparing these crabs. All right, they should be just about done. You can see they're uh, boiling away there, and they're ready to come out. They've been in there for about 20 minutes now. And you just reach in, pull them out, now you're dealing with boiling water here, so uh, you need to uh, be fairly careful. Put this over here, and we'll bring the other one out. See how nice they look? And these will look excellent when they're served up and prepared for your date. I'm going to put on a pair of gloves here because these are still a little hot. All right, here we go. First step is just to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me see if I can do this with gloves on. Okay. You just pull this apart like so. There, you see? And this is what you take out. Pull this apart like so. I'm just going to run these under some cold water because uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, hot right now, but I'll take it out and clean it and stuff, and I'll have it ready for you when we come back with the sauce and my date, the plastic surgeon, who's going to love my nose, I'm sure. Thank you. <laughs> This is the meal. Now, my date is going to be here in just a couple of minutes, but I just wanted to uh, show you how this is presented and stuff, and it's very nice. It's so simple. Anybody, anybody can cook this. And you serve it up with a nice white wine, and uh, maybe I'll have a little sip while I'm here and waiting for her. Also, if you have some uh, fresh bread, uh, you have everything. You have a beautiful woman that's about to arrive. You have a beautiful meal. Garlic butter is nice and hot, some lemon wedges. And, of course, you have this wonderfully classic look that uh, you can do with your uh, home uh, plastic surgery kit. So, until she arrives, I'm going to have a little sip and... Wouldn't you know it? Now, do you think I look good enough to meet this young lady? 
The moment of truth. Hello, darling. How are you? <laughs> Have I come too early? No, no, no. It's fine. Come on in. Let me take your coat. Thank you. You are clearly impressed by my nose, I see. Yes. Well, I thought I would just do this. This is a wonderful little invention that I've had, and we've got this wonderful meal here. Would you like to sit down oh, and try you. this? See, what it is, <clears throat> I would like some advice on my nose, and I thought something like a, a classic streamlined astronaut nose would be sort of an interesting topic of conversation over dinner. Can I get you some wine? Please. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Uh, <laughs> No, no. Um, are you going to take it off? My nose? <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> well, uh, why don't we have a small toast before I start uh, uh, taking it off? And um, <laughs> we'll uh, dig into some crab, if you like. Um, would you like a toast of some kind? Or? Yes, to you, Ian. Well, thank you, you... thank you. <laughs> You're stunned, right? <laughs> There's no this, plastic this, this surgery. This nose really does it. Right, why don't we just dig in and I'll pick this off as we, uh, it comes off very easy. It's just like a jelly type thing. Look at that. So yeah, I'm back to my normal, wonderful self. This goes back in the bottle. I'll put it on the side plate. <laughs> well, that sure feels a lot better getting rid of that nose, I'll mm -hmm. tell you. Anyway, this is the crab that I prepared for you. Now, I actually swam 30 miles <laughs> in ice-cold water to a special crab patch that I know. I dove down at least 30 fathoms, at least 30 fathom, fathoms, to find this crab who was sort of crawling along on the bottom. But the nice thing about crab is that it's, it's, it's so good. It, it's, it's good for you. It's a nice, lean kind of meat, and it's just delicious. And I'm sure that in your job as a plastic surgeon, you know, this would be the kind of meal that you would advise. Is that right? Absolutely. So tell me about your job. What do you do? I mean, what would you do with my nose? Well, you see, I'd just maybe move it over just a little bit, you know, just balance your eyes out a little bit. It's just... <laughs> It's just not too straight, and I don't know if that was supposed to help or anything, but oh, it was just I a, an attention to getter too. It's just an attention getter to do it. Um, <laughs> but I should tell you that I only have one lung. I gave this actually to a uh, person that needed one. I I'm that kind of guy. Oh. <laughs> and uh, with my artificial leg and stuff, I, I have to make up and compensate. So, mm. what can I say? But anyway, it's been a real pleasure having you here. Would Thank you like you. to dance? You're so Certainly. beautiful. For a copy of the program, or the Lonely Chef cookbook, or to be my special guest, call 1-800-665-CHEF. Or if you'd like to write to me personally, my address is P.O. Box 740, Everson, Washington, 98247. And when taping The Lonely Chef, I stay at the beautiful Fantasyland Hotel and Resort which is part of the adventure of the West Edmonton Mall. Join me.